Hi, this is Peggy DiMacuro with the Anton Art Center and I'm here today to do some CD art with you for Super Sad Art Day. We're so excited that you could be here with us for Super Sad Art Day and that we're able to take things online so that we didn't have to miss out on all the fun. So some of the projects that I'm going to do today are turning old CDs and found objects into some works of art that we can use inside and outside. So we're going to get started. I'll show you all of the supplies that we need and then we will start making some CD art together. So some of the items that we're going to need are some paint brushes, some paint. You can see I just used a little bit. Some different uh, foam brushes work well. You might want a blow dryer or and or a glue gun so that we can put some objects on there or dry our projects faster. Uh, you can see we're using some different acrylic paints that you can find at places like Michael's or even at the dollar store and uh, Blix Art Supply, different art supply stores. The E6000 paint, or I'm sorry, E6000 glue that uh, we can use to stick objects on metal like our CDs. There's some more paint options that we have, some beads, I've got water and different types of uh, paint brushes, foam brushes so that we can do different shapes, and lots of fun Sharpies, paint pens, chalk pens, and glitter pens. I've got some scissors and some fishing line and yarn that we can use to hold us, and some very old CDs that we're going to turn into new art. If you have a CD that's got some words on it and you want to have a nice background with it, you can just take some paint and a brush and then just set it up like this so that you can have a blank palette to work with. And it can either be, and even though um, those letters were dark, the white paint is taking care of that. So this is acrylic paint. Uh, the craft acrylic paint that you can get, like I said, from Michaels or other craft supplies and even the dollar stores. If you do want your item to be used outside, then uh, you have to do some extra steps to make sure that it's waterproof. But you can do it inside with just the acrylic paint. Similar to when we paint rocks. So I'm going to put that one aside, let it dry, and I have two CDs that I've already put together that were one black and one white I painted yesterday. And then we're also going to use one of them just uh, plain so that we can use the Sharpies and I can show you how that's going to turn out. So I've got some water here, so I think I'm going to dip my white brush in there already. We don't need much paint, as I said because it goes a long way. So we've got a black CD, and I'm gonna just do something easy with some polka dots on here. So I'm gonna take this one and start off with some pink polka dots. This brush does not work. I'm gonna do some, it's more of a stamp polka dot. Okay. Or you can use a brush and do some freeform polka dots and draw them on there. Whatever you have to work with. What's fun with these two is you can uh, use paint pens and chalk pens and get some nice results with those two. And with those, you do have to just press a little bit. This is a paint pen, but the chalk pens are very similar. You prime them by uh, pressing down and then the paint fills up the little cartridge. And so then you can add that on there too. You can draw whatever you want with that. You can do whatever type of squiggles that you like. So I'm gonna set this aside so that can dry. And with this one, let's take a look at some of the um, 
items that we can add to it, like these little glass beads. And so those can be put on with either the E6000 clear transparent glue or with a glue stick. And I'm going to put the glue in here. Let that warm up for a second while we pick our pattern. We'll just do some of these on here for now. So you just put them in your spot you want them to be. You're going to put your glue stick. Oops. Use your glue gun. Now using a glue gun is something for teens and adults to do. So we don't want to uh, have the kids using a glue gun on their own. Always got to have supervision on that. Put that there. Put those there. And this one here. So that's nice with the glue gun is that the projects dry much quicker than the E6000. Got a little bit of wiggle room to move things around if you'd like to. But then you can put whatever kind of pattern that you want on there. Then you can go back through to take off any glue strands that you have, but you can add um, more color with some other items in here too. Like I like, this is a glitter pen that I got, a glitter marker it's called, at um, one of the dollar stores. I think Dollar Tree is usually where I go. And then these you can just use. And it makes a little bit of a glittery pattern on there. And you could always go around if you wanted to add some more color. You can add more color around and add more pattern into this as well. We'll put this one aside. This was done with some glass markers, same thing, glass paintbrush markers, and I got these also at a dollar store. And so I just put the color right on, and to make it permanent, it requires you to uh, heat the object up to 160 degrees. Well, it turns out a blow dryer goes up to 197 degrees. So I use a blow dryer to uh, set it. And then when I put some water on it, it doesn't change. So that kind of made that more of a permanent. And then you can do whatever pattern you want with that. Once you have your CD done and you wanted to then add, once you've added everything that you want to it, then you can add your holder and hanger so that you can hang it either inside on the wall. They are nice. Um, CDs have a hole right in them, so if you want to just hang it right on the wall using a hanger or nail right there in the middle, then that would work. Or you can, you can put um, some fishing line or ribbons through that hole and just do that by itself or you can add some beads to it too, beads and buttons. If your project still needs to dry a little bit, as I was saying, we can use our, um, put your blow dryer down on cool and start off with low. And you can dry that paint a little bit more. Okay, and get that dry and ready to put your uh, holder on it. So I had mentioned if you want to do, or all you have are Sharpie markers, then your way to do that is to grab some colors 
You want to make sure that there's um, the permanent markers uh, so that the color stays and whatever pattern you put on stays and doesn't uh, get wiped away with what the regular markers that are washable won't stay on this. So you can put your names on there. You can put some color. I'm going to start this one with some green on the bottom. Now I have seen some people really saturate with marker and it almost looks like paint. For today, I'm just going to kind of do it like some grass. And I do love flowers and trees, so I'm going to do some stems and a leaf. And then add in. Yellow doesn't stand out too much against there, so let's go with some brighter colors. Let's do a red flower. We can do a big fluffy cloud up here, and then you can color that in. You can do word out. You can really do anything that you want to do on your CD. Make it any pattern that you want. Just going to make a kind of a scribbly cloud that can get filled in a little more. You can put your name on there. You can then add some other designs with different uh, pens that you might have on hand that you can add some extra to it. You can color everything in on here and make it just as uh, vibrant as some of the other patterns that we had too. So really it's all up to you. You get to decide how much uh, you want to put on there. So right now I'm going to just start with that. So I'm going to make a... I'm going to use the fishing line Put it through the middle. And I'm going to tie it at least once so that it stays in place. And when I put the beads on, they're not going to fall. And I have some different beads here. Now, you can put both of your strings together and just make one straight. I'm going to put this here. And these are some paper beads, which are also fun to make because you can make any colors you want using all kinds of paper. Put that in. You can use beads. You can use buttons. These would be fun to uh, make. You can put your name on here. I'm going to put mine on here. I think I'll do it with some glitter. And I could make this as a sign for my door. Put that there. And now we're going to tie a double knot at the top in a little loop so that you can we'll do a loop here so that you can then hang that on a hook or a nail do what so we'd love to see your CD art and some of the samples that you have so that we can see what you did at home. So here's some of uh, my other examples. This project is great because you can use your imagination and whatever type of supplies that you have on hand and just create something that's fun and expresses yourself. So thanks for 
checking in on Super Sad Art Day today and also for checking out the CD art video. Hope you had a good time and enjoy the rest of the program. The Anton Art Center would like to thank the following businesses and organizations for their financial support of Super Sad Art Day activities. Presenting sponsor, First State Bank. Supporting sponsor, Consumers Energy. The Michigan Humanities Council. The Michigan Council for Arts and Cultural Affairs. The Kresge Foundation. The Community Foundation for Southeast Michigan. And the National Endowment for the Arts. We would also like to thank our partners, the Discovery Center, the Detroit Institute of Arts, and the Metropolitan Detroit Corral. Learn more about the Anton Art Center and our partners at www.theartcenter.org and make a donation to support our mission to enrich and inspire people of all ages through the arts.